What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here. Today, we are reviewing the Evolve R electric scooter. Now, if you've seen my channel before, this might look familiar like a Zero 10 X. This has some features though, that's gonna set it apart. Let's take a look. Subscribe and let's ride. Today, we're looking at the new Evolve Pro R scooter, another take on a mid range performance scooter using the same chassis and suspension design as the T10 DDM and the Zero 10X. Let's get started with a quick run through of the specs. The Evolve Pro R scooter comes stock with a 60 volt, 21 amp hour battery. Combined, the dual motors can reach a peak 3000 watts. That's enough power to hit a top speed of 44 miles per hour. The battery is advertised to get you a range of 40 miles, while the more likely real-world range is about half of that. All in all, this comes out to a weight of about 80 pounds with a max load of 330 pounds. While it's not officially waterproof, it is water resistant given the standard rubber charging port covers and sealed deck. While I'd ride it in a light drizzle, heavy rain and large puddles might cause damage. For stopping power, it comes with dual hydraulic disc brakes and regenerative braking. That's enough braking power to make stopping on a dime an easy feat. Akin to the Zero 10X, this scooter is equipped with front and rear spring hydraulic suspension to provide super smooth rides over even the roughest roads. Even pockmarked roads feel like a magic carpet ride. Two of my favorite features of the scooter are its ninja-like visuals and every terrain tackling tires. Evolve has decked out the scooter with an all-black chassis, giving it a stealthy speedster look. It's a stylish scooter, an easy fit for those ninja riders, and might be the best take on the Zero 10X or T10 DDM chassis to date. The Evolve Pro R uses 10 by 3 inch all season tires. The Zero 10Xs rock 2.5 inch wheels and you can really feel that extra half inch. The extra traction just makes you stick to the asphalt and the wider rubber enables turns with ease and stability. Let's jump on over now to our top speed run to show you what the scooter is capable of. While the scooter feels great on the road, it really shines off-road. The dual suspension system that handles potholes with ease now conquers bumpy off-road conditions. The thick pneumatic tires tackle pebbles and branches with ease. Roots and rocks all feel like nothing under the deck. Other advantages that the Evolve Pro R has are its front and rear lights, making it easy to see and be seen. This is especially important due to the all-black frame. As with most scooters, the rear lights flash when you brake. In the rear, you've got the fin. It's a sturdy and comfortable spot to rest your foot during rides. It gives you control over the monster torque, and if you're sick and riding on two tires, pop a wheelie. Now let's handle the beam counting. The Zero 10X and T10 DDM both come in at slightly cheaper, but they both use weaker motors. Even the most powerful stock kit for the Zero 10X uses only 1200 watt motors, while the Evolve Pro R comes in with double 1500 watt motors. It's currently on sale from Urban Machina for about $2,600. I'll leave a link in the video description below and definitely give them a visit. Overall, I think you've got excellent value for your money here. All right guys, that's all we got for this episode on the Evolve R electric scooter. So is it better than a Zero 10X? I don't know, what do you think? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought of the scooter. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.